angle between the two planes is the same as the angle between the normal vectors. Okay, so our, my one normal vector is 5, negative 2, negative 2. The other normal vector is 4, 1, 1. The angle between those two vectors, if you just like turn it, you know, picture the two vectors, they have an angle between them. If you just turn those vectors so that they're now lying in the plane, it's going to be the same angle. So the normal vectors are not in the plane, but the angle between them has to be the same as the angle between the planes. Otherwise, these two vectors aren't normal to the two planes. So this is kind of a little review for finding the angle between two vectors. So remember, cosine of the angle is equal to their dot product. divided by their lengths. So the length of this one will be the square root of 25 plus 4 plus 4. And the length of this one will be the square root of 16 plus 1 plus 1. And I get 20 minus 2 minus 2 is my dot product. 5 times 4 is where I got the 20. Negative 2 times 1 is where I got the negative 2. Negative 2 times 1 is where I got the other negative 2. And let's see, 8 plus 25 is 33. And then I get square root of 18. So we get, what, 16 over 18. Okay, again, that's the cosine of the angle. So if I take the inverse cosine of that, make sure you Right places. Or I'm sorry, we asked you a question where you. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. I was thinking is the cosine versus the inverse cosine. Yes, inverse cosine. And just be careful to 